Mark Langley with the National Public Safety Drone Donation Program. I'm here with Christy Sertwell. Christy's been a friend of mine for a while. I met her, I don't know, about seven, eight years ago at an Airbnb, and we became friends. Every time I come out to California for business, typically if Christy's got a place to stay, I'll, I'll uh, stay there. Um, Christy most recently made a donation to uh, the National Public Safety Drone Donation Program, and I wanted to introduce you to her, and the reason why is because her situation's unusual it's she's had had nothing that i knew of to do with public safety but come to find out she does tell us a little bit about that christy well sure i guess i've always had an interest in public safety and um, started when i was 20 fresh out of college and just realized i um, like to help other people and bring safety messages we actually took safety messages into the schools and also into uh, the senior communities so i've been doing that for did so that what, for a while. So what kind of message? You're a musician, too, as well. Yeah, right? well, we, we took a, a safety program mm -hmm. that involved a high-energy music okay. uh, show and also, um, you know, safety messages for the kids, top, drop, and roll, right. um, you know, don't stick your knife in the toaster, okay. lots of different safety okay. messages for the kids. That's good. And yeah. then, obviously, a different message for the seniors, um, yeah. you know, the issues around elder abuse and... Yeah. Um, and just financial safety and that sort of thing. That's really commendable. You know, giving back to others really is, is just a great thing to do. Now, that was in Canada, right? It was. So you came down to the U.S. when? What year? I came in about 2007 to okay. start a business here. All right. Tell us a little bit about your business. What's, what's your what's your stick? I am in real estate. Yeah. And um, my niche is uh, just working to help clean up. Um, houses and clean up the community. So I, I work with the hoarding disorder. Okay. Yep. So people who have um, a hoarding disability, um, those are houses I, I work with those people in those houses to clean them up and mm -hmm. remodel those houses. And, and that's um, turned into some small development uh, properties as well. Okay. So. And you're into ADUs as well. Mm -hmm. Got yeah. one right behind us here. That's that you right. Built. Yeah. Yes, we're sitting so, right in front of one. Um, so Christy, last time I was in California, she had I was talking to her about our foundation, and she said, "You know, some I'd like to make a donation to your foundation." She has a uh, Rami is a, is, is a colleague of yours, mm -hmm. of somewhat in real estate, and Rami does work in uh, public safety with the, with the police departments, and he introduced us to Bell Garden. And Christy was kind enough to purchase the drone. You can see the link to the drone here in this video if you want to see the donation that she made. And I can't thank you enough for your time and your effort and your caring to support public safety and what we do. You know, more people like Christy uh, we're trying to find, more corporations that want to donate, partner with us and help us support underfunded public safety agencies. You know, we, we not only support underfunded public safety, but we also support well-funded public safety. In fact, Bell Gardens already had a drone program That's going, right. but we still donated to them nonetheless. So if you're interested in contacting us about uh, donating to us, whether it be monetarily, if you have an old drone on the shelf, you want to put it back in service. If we can't give it to public safety, we partner with women in drones and we also donate to STEM programs. And, you know, helping kids and helping public safety and helping people stay safe is just a great thing to do. So subscribe, like our channel, share this message, and we appreciate you watching. Thanks.